In our last video, we talked about the importance of being ready to invest before taking that dive. So what if you realize that you're just not quite ready right now to jump into a risky investment? Well, this is where high yield savings accounts come in. This is a virtually risk-free investment that can still give you returns while you're preparing for bigger investments. So whether you're saving toward your emergency fund or you're saving toward your first house, this is a great place to put your funds so you can move forward on your financial independence journey. Stay tuned to see exactly how to take advantage of this account. Hi, Hi guys. guys, I'm Cecine. And I'm Josh. Welcome to our channel, Millennial Fire, where we give practical steps on reaching financial independence and early retirement. If you guys have been enjoying our content, please hit the like button and the subscribe button because that really helps us out. So what is a high yield savings account? It is basically defined by its name. It's a savings account that gives you a high return on your money or a high APR. APR represents annual percentage rate, which you may be familiar with because it's the same term that applies to debt. Um, but in terms of investment, it's the annual rate that you receive on your investment or on the money that you have held in a particular bank. One thing to know about high yield savings account is that typically all of their business is done online. So if you need to access these funds, it's going to take a little longer for you to do so. Transferring it from your high yield savings account into your checkings account is going to be a, an electronic transfer, which typically takes two to four days. You won't be able to go into a bank and just withdraw the money. It will only be done as an electronic transfer. Another thing to take into account is with all savings accounts um, there is a limit of six withdrawals you can you can take a month without penalty this is an account that you want to put money into for a big purchase like an emergency fund buying a house or buying a big purchase like a car um, so it can just sit there and grow so why choose a high yield savings account this is where I get excited I love numbers mm -hmm. so the national average for savings accounts in America as of the shooting of this video, according to the FDIC, is 0.07%. Mm. Right now, we can get you a high yield savings account for 1.7% APY. This is around a 24 times difference in value. That's the difference between me giving you a dollar or giving you $24. Or me giving you $1,000 or giving you $24,000. It's a huge difference. Oh, wow. And huh? that land, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot, right? <laughs> and so even though these percentages might sound minuscule compared to the stock market, compared to index funds, remember, on our financial independence journey, every cent that we can make or every cent that we can save is putting us one step close to our financial freedom goal. So this is why we love these accounts so much. So notice that I said APY and not APR this time. APY stands for annual percentage yield. The reason why we use this number instead of the APR is because it makes it a bit easier to calculate what we get in return over the course of a year. So say for example, I have $1,000 in their account and I wanted to see what I would make for leaving that $1,000 in an account for a 1% APR over the course of a year. This is what the equation will look like. Versus if you wanted to see what you will make with $1,000 with a 1% interest rate using the APY, this would be the equation. It's much simpler, but I do understand we live in a technology society, so you can skip all of these equations and then go over to this calculator to see what your interest can return to you. So the APY includes compound interest over the course of the year. If I have an account that generates one additional dollar a month, every single month, that new dollar then begins to generate interest itself as well. This is why we use the APY instead of the APR. But just to make it plain the difference between APR, our APR on our account right now states that it's 1.488%, but our APY is 1.5%. That additional 0.012% um, accounts for our compounded interest that we receive every year. These rates are subject to change. They, are, they never stay the same. It's according to whatever the Federal Reserve has um, 
put set the interest rate to. So recently we've seen a drop in our return or our, our APY um, because of the rates being cut by the Fed recently. And that account that he was referring to that is it's the highest high yield savings account out here right now. It's 1.7%. HSBC is the provider of that account. So how do you open an account? There's a few things that you want to consider and verify before choosing an account. Um, and the first thing is to make sure that it's FDIC insured. And what is the FDIC? Well, the FDIC is the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. And this is a corporation that insures your money up to $250,000 with any bank corporation that is under FDIC insurance. Now, what this means is if you have $250,000 or less invested in a bank at any given time and that bank corporation fails, that they will guarantee giving your $250,000 back. Inversely, if you're invested in a bank that has no FDIC insurance and you have $250,000 there, that bank fails, you lose lose all your money. This is why it's very, very important to have an FDIC insured bank. That was actually pretty impressive. He didn't even practice for that. <laughs> This is the number one thing that you need to know um, when you're choosing a bank. Next thing is to look for a competitive rate. Um, there are many websites out there that will tell you what the top yielding or the top APY um, uh, high yield savings accounts are for a certain time period. Um, so for example, NerdWallet, they have best high yield savings account 2020. Um, bank rate is another website. Um, and we'll put all those links in the comments below. Another thing that you want to look into is what kind of reviews they have. If they have reviews that tell you they have a great website, they have a, good, they have a mobile app that's easy to use, is their customer service great? Pick a, a high yield savings account that has very good reviews in these areas. Because again, this is an online account. So your experience with drawing money from this account is all going to be online, um, all going to be th either through an app or a website. And if you have any issues ever, you're not going to be able to go into a building and talk to a bank teller. You're going to have to resolve these issues over the phone or online. And so you want to make sure you're going with a company that has great reviews um, to make sure that you have a good experience. Another thing and the last thing that we'll cover is um, making sure you pick a high yield savings account that has zero fees. These accounts are accounts that have zero dollar minimum balance so they don't require any money in your account to keep the account open and they don't charge you to keep the account open if it has a zero balance and this is very important if you're using it for to save for a big purchase like a house because at some point or another you probably will be withdrawing all the money in your high yield savings account to make that purchase or even with your emergency fund you don't want an emergency to hit have to withdraw all your emergency fund and then get hit with the fee for withdrawing your emergency fund. Exactly. So um, this is important to make sure that you choose a, a high yield savings account that has a zero minimum balance and zero fees. So now we hope that you guys have a better understanding of what high yield savings accounts are and how you can use them in your financial independence journey. If you've been enjoying our content, we ask that you please hit the like button for us and also subscribe and share this information with anyone that you feel like could use this information in their financial independence journey. And until next time, happy investing. See you next time.